Hey, what is up everybody? This is Cam Jennings coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com and uh, I'm just out here walking around my yard a little bit. I'm actually not taking a walk for exercise today. I'm letting my back rest a little bit. I was having some back problems the last few days here. Um, so I'm trying to let my back rest a little bit, but I wanted to get out here anyway and make a video for you guys. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about my top performing video, um, like month after month on the, uh, zero fast returns channel. And it's funny because, uh, there's, there's marketing lessons to be learned here. The, uh, the thing about zero fast returns, this YouTube channel, you guys got to know is like, it's kind of a, it's kind of like keeping the receipts for my online journey. You know, you can look back at the very first video I did on this channel and, you know, I was talking about selling on Amazon and, and everything I was doing there. So this channel has been around since 2013. So that's a decade of, uh, zero fast returns. And believe it or not, before before this channel, I had a channel called Zero Fats, the Zero Fats channel. That channel got terminated by YouTube for whatever reason. They never even told me why. Um, but when I came back, I called my next channel Zero Fats Returns. So, anyways, um, so what is the top performing video on this channel month after month, and what are the marketing lessons you can learn from it? It's funny because this has always been a channel about you know making money online in some way shape or form in the beginning I was talking about making money with Amazon then I moved on to talking about you know making money with you know affiliate marketing and making money selling products and uh, just various um, various money making uh, tactics that always had to do with making money online basically that's always been what zero fats returns has been about. But, uh, I think it was around 2016. I stumbled upon this conspiracy theory called the Mandela effect. I'm not going to go into what the Mandela effect is and all this other stuff. You probably already know what it is. If you're watching this, maybe you don't, maybe you do, who knows? But anyways, I published a couple videos about that subject on this channel because it just had blown my mind. Uh, and I, uh, I only published two videos about it. And those two videos are regularly top performers on this channel as far as views go. <laughs> the, the, the only two videos on this channel that really have nothing to do with making money on the internet or being in online business. And they regularly outperform all the other videos. Why? So there's a marketing lesson here. And the marketing lesson has to do with uh, something I say to people a lot. And that is that people buy based on emotion and then they justify those purchases with logic. Right? And when you think about conspiracy theories in general, they speak to our emotion. They do not speak to our logic. They definitely, they definitely uh, capture our imagination. They capture our curiosity. And they speak to our emotion. That's what conspiracy theories do. You know? Capture our curiosity. They captivate us. And they speak to our emotion. And then think about the, the formula for conspiracy theory in general. They stun you with a shocking, with a shocking thing, right? And then they start, what do they do? They start giving you reasons and, and proofs as to why this is true. Now, are they all true? No, they're not all true. But that's the point. That's how they do it. They stun you with the shocking with the shocking news, then they start giving you facts and reasoning as to why it's true. Whether it's true or not, they back it up with points. 
that follows the exact same pattern that I told you about why people buy. They buy based on emotion. They justify the purchase based on logic. It's the same thing when it comes to conspiracy theories. That's why those videos are constantly performing at the high level uh, on my channel. Not, not a high level, but for my channel, they're always getting more views than anything else. And they have nothing to do with the point of this channel. It's, it's kind of annoying to me, to be honest. But the point is, there's a lesson to be learned there. You know, when you want to pull people in, you lead with emotion. You don't lead with logic, you know. How to build a list is not going to pull people in as much as, you know, why list building doesn't matter anymore, <laughs> dot, 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 you know. Because why list building doesn't matter anymore sounds contrarian. That sounds different than what everyone else is saying. And then, like, if on the video, you can back that up with points that make sense, now you've got something, right? But, just, but, but why does being contrarian work? Being contrarian works because it leads with emotion, right? What's the emotion? Curiosity. Captivation. These things pull people in because they're not used to it. You know, it's not the default effect. So, anyways, um, that's kind of what I was thinking about today. Just my top performing video on this channel and marketing lessons attached to it. Um, yeah, anyways, I think that's about it for this one. I, I don't have much else to say. If, uh, if you are out there right now and you're trying to make things happen, but you're not getting a lot of traction, consider leading with emotion, right? Because it's gonna make a big difference. And that manifests itself in many different ways, right? I'm not just talking about on a sales page. I'm talking about with YouTube videos. I'm talking about in your email marketing affiliate campaigns. I'm talking about on your podcasts, everywhere. Leading with emotion, backing up with logic, right? That's a formula that you'll find repeating itself over and over and over again. So anyways, hope this has been helpful to you today. Uh, if any of this content's resonated with you, be sure to get over to epicconversions.com, sign up for my free newsletter. I put out a um, email to my list uh, probably three to six times a week. And I like to think I put my best free content out by by email. So if you like this and it's resonated with you, be sure to get over there and sign up. Um, I think that's all I got today. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have an amazing Wednesday. And I'll see you on the next episode of Thoughts on a Walk. Peace.